We love our Tab 400 by New Camp, but I've always said there is no perfect trailer. So we're going to show you five things if we could change, we'd change on our Tab 400 in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everybody. We're inside our Tab 400 by New Camp, and we're going to go through five things that if we could change, we'd like to have changed on this trailer. Now, understand, we'd still buy Carl all oh, over again. Mm -hmm. That's for those of you that don't follow us on a regular basis. That's what we've named our Tab 400. Right. Speaking of subscribing, if you haven't subscribed yet, please take time to hit that subscribe button and also that little bell. The little bell makes sure you get notifications every time we put out a new video, which we do every Monday. So go ahead and subscribe and become a part of our Travels with Delaney Caravan. Now on to our five things, and these are really in no particular order. But I'm going to ask, ask Patty to tell us a little bit about one of the things that she'd like to see changed in the Tab 400. So, Patty, what would that be? I would like to see that this wall wasn't so sharp and steep down on the side of the bed. I found out after being in it the first couple nights, because this is my side of the bed usually, that I am claustrophobic. I can't lay in here and be comfortable. I just feel, I don't know, short of breath, I can't do it. So luckily Patrick is, and so we swapped spaces and it works um, for us. But that's the one thing I would change is how steep this side is on this side of the bed, because um, you just kind of feel a little cramped. And the truth is, I'm not sure there's much New Camp could have actually done about this mm -hmm. because that's kind of what makes the tab the tab. It's that that mm -hmm. true teardrop shape. The other thing is, I don't know we would have gotten this wonderful stargazing window if they didn't have it at that angle. So, you know, maybe they could have made it more like our hummingbird where it went a little bit more up and then over. Mm -hmm. but, but, but again, you would have lost this wonderful window. Mm -hmm. So... Our solution doesn't bother me to be on the inside, and so I go on the inside, yeah. and Patty feels much more comfortable on the outside. Definitely. All right. A second thing we change in the Tab 400 is the dinette. Now, don't get me wrong. We love this dinette. It's perfect for two people, maybe a third person on this side. It's very comfortable, and it's very stylish. The issue we have with it, though, is when you want to make it into a bed. And there's really two issues. Number one, underneath there are outlets and USB ports. And they work great when it's a dinette. But when you actually put the table down to make it into a bed, you can't actually use those. And we found that out when our nephew Alex went with us to Tennessee back in March. He was unable to actually charge his phone over that area because you just cannot plug in under there. The second thing is... This particular dinette requires a special cushion to make it into a bed. And there's no place to actually store the cushion. Unlike most trailers that use the back cushions to make it into a bed, this one requires this special mat, uh, cushion to turn it into like a mattress. So it's comfortable because it's thick, but unfortunately you gotta carry it someplace and there's just not room in an 18 foot camper to be carrying an extra cushion that you don't need. So luckily it's just the two of us and most of the time we won't even take this with us. The third thing that we would like to change about Carl is the sink in the bathroom. This sink is really nice. It's really convenient. Uh, you can push this up during a shower and it gives you more space in here. And then you can pull it down when you want to use it. The thing I really don't like about it is that when you do put water in here, like you're brushing your teeth or anything like that, the water just gathers in here, stays in here and doesn't drain very well. And so we've tried to, you know, every so often I keep pushing it in and pulling this up because you can hear it go down the little tubing in the back, but it just takes a long time to get anything um, drained out of there when you put water in there. The fourth thing we'd change if we could would be the outdoor storage. There's only one outdoor storage area on the Tab 400, and as you can see, it's not a very tall opening. You can access it from inside under the bed. Unfortunately, because of the bed, once you have it made, it's very hard to lift those access panels. So you almost have to take the sheets off of your bed in order to be able to access it in there. So it would really be nice if they could have made a little bit larger opening and maybe found just a bit more outdoor storage space for things like your water hose, your electric cords. I'm able to store in here right now two folding chairs, our carpet mat, I have our Coleman grill and one plastic crate, and that pretty much fills it up. And then usually I have room to go ahead and put in the power cord. So again, it's an 18 foot camper. We have a lot of storage inside. We're just lacking some of the outdoor storage that we were used to in our Hummingbird. 
The final thing that we'd change if mm -hmm. we could, and we find a little odd, is the Tab 400 comes with a TV. It's even wired right to the battery, so when you're not on shore power, yeah. you can watch your TV, and it's directly wired to the radio system with the built-in DVD player. But what it's missing is an antenna on the outside. So you have a place to plug in if mm -hmm. you're in a park for cable, right. but there's no actual antenna on the Tab 400. Mm -hmm. So if you do end up wanting to watch TV, and usually the only thing we really want to do is sometimes catch the news or weather if we're right. someplace, mm -hmm. you have to actually get an ex uh, external antenna, right. mm -hmm. which we would highly recommend the um, King Omnidirectional Portable Antenna. And I'm going to put a link up here. Go check out Lou over at RV Habits' review on it. It was because of Lou's review that we chose to pick exactly. up that particular antenna. And it's working really well for us. Um, it actually works better than the built-in antennas on the last two trailers that we had mm -hmm. as far as picking up yeah, stations. Yeah, get a lot of channels. So yeah. the downside to it is you always have to get it get out up, and hook it up. Hook it and up. Set it up. And, yeah. So that would be something we would change. Now, my guess is the reason they don't install an antenna is it has to do with keeping a lower profile. Right. But as many innovations as they have on this trailer, it sure seems like they could have came up with a low-profile antenna that would have worked and just saved you from having to go out and install an external antenna all the time. Correct. So, yeah, because there's a radio antenna on the outside. Yeah, and it works well. But they, you know, maybe there would be something with that. So, I don't know. So, anyway, overall... We love the tab. Love the tab. It has a lot of great features. Again, we've had it now on, I guess, three trips. Right. And... Um, I can't overstress how there's been absolutely no construction issues, issues or dust. Mm -hmm. You know, usually when you travel with a new trailer, you find Always sawdust cleaning. coming out of yeah. vents and things and not any. And to me, mm -hmm. that just speaks volumes about the pride they take in building these. Right. So, yep. but those would be five changes if we could make. Now, I will say that on the bed, for instance, we wouldn't want to give up the stargazing no, window. No. So we'll deal with that. We make it work. Absolutely. And in the outdoor storage, there's really not much you could do. Mm -hmm. So we understand that there's a, a give and take. And not every trailer is perfect. Exactly. So, yep. so, but we at least wanted to share with you some things that if we could change, we would. So. Exactly. All right. We hope you found this video useful. Yeah. And if you have questions or comments, please share them down below. If you own a Tab 400 and there's things you'd like to change, let us know what those are. Because I think for each individual, it may be different. Probably, yeah. Until next time, everybody. See you on down the road. Good night. Good night.